most fighting games on the Wii seem to be confused by its unique controller. The Naruto franchise has decided to forego any thought of using the controller for their new game, Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution, by including support for both the Wii Classic and the original GameCube controller. So, why would this game be released on the Wii, you ask? Beats me. That's like asking why did they keep making Naruto games in the first place? Why did people still buy them? When did Ninja start wearing orange jumpsuits? Here goes nothing, pervy sage! A better question is, what is a pervy sage? Firstly, you don't have completely free movement around the 3D stages. However, the game features a sidestep button that lets you dodge in and out of the screen to combat from different angles. The special transformation moves are still here, so it does make for multiple options for creative defense, which makes the head-to-head -head game a lot deeper than you might expect. What did you just do? Another nice touch is the multi-tiered stages, along the lines of what we've seen in the Dead or Alive series. Knock an opponent off the appropriate edge, and they'll fall into a new section of the fighting arena, with a cool cinematic transition animation in between. Whatever you do is useless. However, the game doesn't look very different from a 2003 GameCube version. <laughs> character lineup limps along with an unimpressive 20 fighters available. You know everyone's weakness, right? So if you want a Wii game that doesn't utilize the controller, has only semi-improved graphics and a paltry lineup of fighters for the high price tag of 50 bucks, then by all means, buy this game. Otherwise, buy a used copy of Clash of the Ninjas. The good news is, Naruto doesn't say believe it a thousand times. Naruto Clash of the Ninja Revolution believes a two nice try. out of five. All right, pal, your bullying ends here and now. Catch an all-new X-Play weeknights at eight only on G4.